Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on volume integral. The given problem is if a bar is equal to 2xzi minus xj plus y square k, then evaluate triple integral v a dv. Okay, a bar is nothing but here it is a vector where v is a region bounded by the surface x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Z is, uh, x is equal to uh, 2, y is equal to 6, so z is equal to x square and z is equal to 4, they are given. So, directly they are given limits also. So, no need to find out the limits. Friends, you see, now what we have to evaluate? Triple integral a bar dv. Are they given a bar? Yes. Are they given limits? Yes. So, you can do directly. But here you observe, can you guess answer will be a scalar or vector? What you can say, which is a vector or scalar? Can you guess? Okay, no need to answer right now. Guess this one. I know which is vector or scalar I know. Right. I will tell you later, last. Now, anyway, see, we have to evaluate this one. So, triple integral of A is nothing but 2xzi minus xj plus y square k into dv. dv is nothing but we are uh, uh, doing in a coordinate planes. No? So, dx, dy, dz. So, you require the limits for this. No? So, friends, you see here i j k so this is a vector now so you can separate three terms so i am considering as a three parts see integral one is i can do separately it is a better into dx dy dz plus triple integral v here uh, this is minus x j that is dx dy dz plus triple integral y square k into dx dy dz friends you see First, I am considering this is integral 1 and this is integral 2 and this is integral 3. Now, integral 1. So, integral 1, you see, what are the limits they give you? x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2. So, x is from 0 to 2 and y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 6. So, y is from 0 to 6 and z is what they gave here? x square to 4, they are given. So, x square to 4 into here 2i is there. Na? So, 2i I can write outside into xz dx dy dy dz. Now, we have to integrate uh, this integrand xz with respect to xyz variables. But uh, is, here you observe, x is the constant limits, y is also constant limit, but z is the function of x. So, what is the dependent variable here? z. So, first we have to integrate with respect to what? z. And we need to apply the limits, then you will get uh, in terms of x. You can do with respect to x easily. Now, 2y times of integral 0 to 2 and 0 to 6. Now, I am integrating with respect to what? z if I done. x into z integration is what? z square by 2. Okay. Limits from x square to 4. This is for the convenient I have written here. You see friends, this is upper limit minus lower limit you have to do now. So, this is denominator 2 is content. You can take left side. Then you will have 2 2 getting cancelled. Then i times of integral 0 to 2, integral 0 to 6, x times here. If you are substituted upper limit, then you will have a 4, uh, 4 square. 4 square is nothing but what here? 16. Okay. 16 minus lower limit if you are substituted x square. Then x square uh, and you have a x square whole square is nothing but x to the power of 4 into dx. And also you have a like a dy. Okay. dx dy you have na? now i into integral 0 to 2. Uh, and integral 0 to 6 if I multiply it inside then I will have 16 x x to the power of 5 into dx dy friends now we have to integrate this integrand with respect to x and also y but here you observe x limits are independent y limits are also independent so in this case what you can do irrespective of order you can do now so i times of first time doing integration with respect to x then I will have 16 x square by 2 x to the power of y integration is x power 6 by 6 and the limits from 0 to 2 right next to the coefficient is 1 1 dy is nothing but 1 integral is with respect to y is y now limits from 0 to 6 now you have to simplify this 2 1s are 2 2 8s are 16 i times half here if you are substituted the upper limit then you will have this is 4 4 times of 8 is nothing but 32 and if you are substituted this one 2 power 6 2 power 6 means here you will have the denominator is 3 2 power 5 is nothing but 32 into here you have a 6 then in this case you see i times of this is a uh, you will have 3 and uh, 2 times of 3 minus uh, 3 times of 32 minus 1 time of 32 is 2 times of 32 that is 64 into 6 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 so here you have i into 128 so 128 i is uh, i1 now i have to do i2 okay now i2 is equal what we have you see 
I2 is xj times of dx dy dz. Okay. So here I have written j outside and x into the limits also have written x into dx dy dz. First with respect to x you have to do or which one you have to do means see the limits. Observe the limit. Here x limits are constant, y limits are constant. But z is in terms of x. So z is a dependent on x. So we have to differentiate integrate with respect to z first. Now in this case j into integral 0 to 2, integral 0 to 6, x is x only. So integration with respect to z is you have x quotient 1. So z only you will have that is x square to 4 into dx dy is the remaining terms. Now j times of integral 0 to 2, integral 0 to 6, x into if you are substituted upper limit then you will have 4 and the lower limit is x square into dx dy. Now x you multiply inside then you will have integral 0 to 2, integral 0 to 6, this is 4x minus x cube into dx dy. Now use this uh, in the, uh, first two, you observe the limits of x and y are independent so you can do irrespective of order first i am doing integration with respect to x that is irrespective of variable here that is 4x minus x cube integration is 4x square by 2 x cube integration x power 4 by 4 limits from 0 to 2 and the coefficient is here 1 so 1 integration is y limits from 0 to 6 0 to 6 now j into here you see here 4 1 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 now you observe don't confuse if I are substituted upper limit 2 square 2 square is nothing but 4 4 times of 2 is 8 minus lower limit if you are substituted 2 power 4 16 16 by 4 is nothing but 4 oh, sorry this 2 for this term if you are substituted 2 power 4 is 16 16 uh, my, by 4 is 4 lower limit if you are substituted 0 0 that's it now here you have a 6 minus 0 is nothing but 6 so finally this is 4 4 times of 6 is nothing but 24 so this is 24 j okay now this is i2 next i want to find out i3 what is i3 now we will see we have i3 is equal to triple integral of y square k into dx dy dz okay friends you observe i1 minus i2 plus i3 here i3 i have written that is a triple integral y square dx dy dz k k is there now so separately you write and better to outside next the limits also i have written x limits y limit z limits now you observe here also z limits are dependent on x so first you have to integrate with respect to z now k into integral 0 to 2 integral 0 to 6 y square is uh, you have to take as uh, left side keep it is next to with respect to z you have to do what is the y square equation 1 so with respect to z is nothing but 1 integration is with respect to z is z limits from x square to 4 into dx dy then k into integral 0 to 2 integral 0 to 6 y square into if you are substituted upper limit 4 minus lower limit is x square into dx dy friends you see the integrand here y square into 4 minus x square we are integrating with respect to xy but uh, the limits are here independent limits so we can do the integration irrespective of the variable so that is the k into first i am doing with respect to y is nothing but y cube by 3 next to 4 integration 4x with respect to x i am doing so this is next to x cube by 3 that's it now the limits of y are 0 to 6 and the limits of x are 0 to 2 so if k into if you are substituted this is 6 into 6 into 6 so here by 3 is there no? so 1 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 so here 36 into this you will have 72 simply i am writing now upper limit if you are substituted 8 minus it will be 8 by 3 lower limit if you are substituted 0 minus 0 okay so this will be uh, 72 k by 3 times of this is you see what you have here 24 minus 8 is nothing but 16 so 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 16 and you will have 24. So 24 times of 16, here you have. So this value will be 384k. So friends, you have i is equal to i is i1 minus i2 plus i3. Na? So i1 value, i2 value, i3 values here I am writing. i1 is equal to we will have, we have 128. Minus is symbol is there. Uh, this is i also I have written clearly you see. And what is I2 means? 24J. Now I3 is equal to 384K. So final answer you got vector. How many members are uh, guessed that value is a vector? In the problem starting here I gave in. So if you are evaluated then the result will be vector or scalar. How many members are done this is a vector? Please bring in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.